With Election Day right around the corner, voters here in San Luis Obispo and United States are being ready to make their voices be heard. Here at the County of San Luis Obispo Government Center will be one of the many places locals can come to cast their vote in the 2024 general election. I had the opportunity to talk to the San Luis Obispo County Clerk Recorder, Elena Cano, to learn more about what goes into preparing for Election Day. We have 69 different um, polling places located throughout the county. So I can't just randomly pick facilities or locations. I have to keep the registered voter number down um, to make it manageable for each one of the, um, the precinct boards. They're, they're all pretty even um, because we have to be. Um, and so there are some locations that have one precinct in there, and there are other locations that could have up to three. Behind me is the Zion Lutheran Church here on the corner of Santa Rosa and Foothill. It has been chosen as one of the many polling locations for the November primary here in San Luis Obispo, mainly for its familiarity with the community and accessibility for all types of voters. Each polling place is selected with accessibility in mind, ensuring that voters with disabilities can easily cast their ballot. I take into consideration uh, public transportation because not everybody has cars. Um, and so where are the bus stations? Are they accessible? I have to, again, by law, um, go out and survey for accessibility to make sure that um, those in a wheelchair, um, those that uh, may need additional assistance, still have access to voting inside a polling place. Cal Poly's Performing Arts Center will also be another precinct for voters on Election Day. The Performing Arts Center was selected for its proximity for students to go and cast their vote, as well as ensure accessibility standards are met for the county. For more information on polling places or voting options in San Luis Obispo County, you can visit the county's official website or contact the elections office here in town. Reporting for Mustang News, I'm R.J. Pollock.